All right, this episode, I think we're about to meet this new guy because it's called He Who Is Called Ace. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with episode eight of High Q. Last episode, we had the win, the beating Alba Josai in their their little test practice match. We beat them uh, two to one in our sets, and that was awesome. We got some compliments, but also some criticisms from Oikawa, which was very much needed and now we're just going to improve and now we're also looking for a coach and we got our other player the guardian deity of Karasuno back and i think we just met him and that's where i'm gonna end it i'm super excited remember if you guys want to see this episode in the full length and or early access to this show all the other shows check out that patreon down below same thing with the twitch and twitter if you guys want to see me gaming and or just follow me for the memes updates whatever come on follow me on twitter and on twitch guys i appreciate y'all let's hop into this uh haikyuu episode eight Oh, he's shorter than Hinata. <laughs> Sounds like Bakugo, voice actor wise. No, that actually is Bakugo. I'm I'm pretty sure that's Bakugo. Noya. I respect it. I respect it. It's a win win. What can I? That's. I can't argue with that. That's just sound logic. Asahi. Who's Asahi? Have we learned who that is yet? I'm gonna look up while this intro is going on if that's the voice actor I'm thinking of. Alright, so that's crazy that that voice actor is definitely Bakugo. I looked it up during the opening. I like that logic. I like that. Wow. There's definitely some deep thoughts going into Noya for sure. The guardian god. Guardian deity, but yeah. <laughs> He was told if he calls him senpai, he's gonna love that, so there we go. He's blushing, he loves that shit. Alright, give me deeds, give me lore, come on, let me let me learn more. Yes, please give me more e uh, How am I supposed to know? I want to know who this person is. Ace? <laughs> Respects him because it's awesome. Nothing's gonna hold you back, right? Do it. Do it. I, I already like Nishinoya. Ace does sound the coolest, yes. Oh, that save, that connect. Fuck him. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. He's gonna keep it going forever. Oh, I love that. He is the wall that separates the ball on the ground. I love the animations and the transitions in this fucking show. Oh, 
That's true. If without you, they're not going to be scoring, then what's the difference? You're literally essential to the team. We're back to the store. Come on, come on, I told you. U Wait, Ukai? This is his grandson. This is. It. That actually would totally help. Not j but you also. You too. Aw, oh, damn. He will. I agree. I completely agree. Is this Asahi? I can tell by the hair that, uh... <laughs> Dude, you're welcome. Dude, you're and there he goes, walking right past him. Yeah, no, I've known guys like that in high school. I knew guys that were not the tallest or the biggest, but they seemed way big. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. It's funny. I want to know what happened. I need to know the backstory. Come on. Yeah. He could be like mentally injured, you know. Emotionally injured. Ah, oh, man. If your passion's not into it, man, I get you. I get that, man. I understand. I'm not personally like that necessarily myself, but I understand that type of view, you know? Training camp. Okay, that's what that note meant. Got it. It's a whole week. For the last day of Golden Week, we got a match. So we got to train, get some good improvements, and we're going to test out those improvements. They call themselves... Neko, which means cat, right? Neko. Neko. Cavers Crow battle of the garbage dump. That's hilarious. He used the Ukai name. He used the Ukai name because our coaches and their coaches were rivals for years. He, he, okay. Rivals, Ukai, we're gonna get him involved. It's to see the guys play. We're gonna fuck. Makes a lot of sense. I'm starting to pick up on the shit. I like it. I get that. I mean, I respect it. Wow, that is absolutely that's big. That's crazy. He just said that. That's a good impression. <laughs> Even kill has his hands like that. <laughs> that is hilarious, and he landed it. Like PTSD for sports, you know, he just can't get over the image of him being blocked that entire game, ruining that game for his team, you know? Yep. <laughs> he said, but now I have. Yeah. Ah, the view from the summit. Of course they would both know what that view is like. Yeah, 
それよりもっといっぱいのスパイク決めてきたんですよねだからみんな朝日さんをエースって呼ぶんだ So determined, my boy Hinata. I don't know. 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 Sees the power and jumps from that boy Hinata. Just seeing these two in action really changes a lot of people's perspectives in the show, you know? He knows that exact feeling, too. Oh. Jesus, that was such a good ending, man. I can't wait to watch more of the show. So I had this written down from last episode. I didn't get to write this down, but I think it's a super cool thing about this particular anime and show that you can't do with a lot of other shows because in a lot of other shows you have you have main characters and you have side characters and they sort of branch out to the different areas in which you explore and, and talk to stuff like that. You know, a really good example of side characters and how they integrate with the main story is like Hunter Hunter. Because like a lot of the times this random side character didn't know how to a little bit of information that was slight, you know, it's just like the use of side characters and shows is something that I, I particularly pay attention to for some reason and 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 criticize how they use side characters. And I, I really like and this is about last episode, but I really like Kendaichi and his specific relationship with Kageyama because we've seen him before very briefly. We know exactly what he's gone through. But for them to have a literal two minute, like he's had like three minutes of total screen time in terms of like talking and like being himself. But the fact that we have our own individual rivalry with just Kageyama and him, it feels realistic. Like, yes, I, I my personal opinion, I believe Kageyama and Hinata are both like the main characters of this show. So the fact that we are getting a realistic kind of high school rivalry based on past friendships that's not very prevalent in the show because like I said, Kendaichi is a very small side character, but they're beefing it, they're boosting it up as if it's a really big, or it's, at least if it's a decent sized rivalry because that's how it happens. It makes sense. He's like, hey, you knew me, I knew you work. No, next time this is gonna go down. I'm beating you, no, I'm beating you. Don't apologize, it's that, you know, it's like, I could have easily had the entire last episode without that, but the fact that they added in is fucking awesome because like I can't, now, even though it's Kendaichi, and like I said, he's a very small, minor side character. I'm mad excited to go back to Alba Joe's side. The next time we improve and go back and see them and Oikawa's fucking serious and fucking like, it's like if it could be an entire show, just us versus Alba Joe's side, but it's not. It's against mad high schools, but we had this super cool interaction in a random practice match against a random other high school. I just think that's so fucking cool. And now we got this fucking golden week training and we're about to go against the Nekoma high school. That's so cool. I am so excited. You have no idea. Jesus, I'm excited, man. Whew. I actually don't know what else to say. I'm just, I'm kind of speechless. Especially with Asahi coming back. I got to write down his name. I'm mad excited. Asahi. Asahi bowl. That sounded really weird. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know what you thought down below. Of course, Dapper Squad. I appreciate y'all. See you in the next episode. Peace out.